mean, one of the, one of the things that I'm, I'm I'm surprised about, and my friends tell me this, you know, people who that that really know me, uh, it's kind of still kind of surprising to me. I'm sweet, man. You know, I mean, I I, I love being sweet to, to my friends, and you know, you know, I, when I was younger, when I was growing up. That wasn't cool to be sweet. You know, I remember the little sweet little boy I was, you know. You know, um, and by sweet, I mean, I, I just I just like to make connection with people. You know, I like that tenderness, you know. It's, it's, it's the human thing. You know, to connect with people on, on, you know. But this situation, you know, when we talk about the criminal justice system, really what it is is a digestive system, a digestive tract. You know, they chew you up with that education. This call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. You know, they chew you up with that education, swallow you, and, you know, you go in the stomach, the large, small intestines, and then you come out as a piece of shit. So one of the things I've been kind of most amazed about myself that I've been able to hold on to my sweetness, you know, my sense of, uh, you know, that's one of the things I, I, I most like about myself. Yeah, but the only people that are really close to me that kind of know, you know, because you have to have the opportunity to, you know, well, I'm sweet to myself as well. Though. I'm, 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 I'm kind of, I'm good to myself. You know, um, even after all I've been through. And, you know, that's one of the things that I want people to know that even in like, uh, even if your worst fears come true, you know, nothing, you know, but death itself can rob you of who you really are. Nothing. You know, like, you know, I can be myself, you know, God gave me understand. Uh, one of my close friends told me a long time ago, he said, you know, uh, for money, life can be had no matter where you are. Mm. You can still laugh in prison. You can still cry in prison. You can still, you know, be who you are, where you are. And, you know, it's, it's important to kind of have that, uh, uh, um, you know, have that understanding as you move, you know, through this life. Because, you know, if you focus just on the pain, and it just, there's a lot of pain involved in this system. You know, if you give in to it, if you just give in to that, that process, if you just, you know, lie yourself. Because, you know, right now, you know, I, you know uh, uh, I've been hitting the small intestines, you know, by the end of the rectum, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know, you know, dude. I can laugh about that because I understand, you know what I mean, you know, but I'm intact, though. And this is a gross analogy, man, and, you know, and I tell people this, and I warn them, you know, but, you know, every now and then you look at your stool, you see a piece of corn intact, you know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, you know, you know, it's a gross analogy. I probably got to come up with a different way to describe it, but this is a digestive track, man. I love this it. system and the fact that they're doing this to kids. You know, I was a kid when I came into this place, 19 years old, you know. But I'm a fast learner, though. And that's been my saving grace, you know. And uh, I'm able to also recognize this call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. You know, also been my blessing. You know, being able to recognize, you know, God in my life through the various people that come along the way. You know, people who, you know, came right at one time, man. Like, you know, I always tell people about being in the middle of the ocean. And, you know, these people float by like a piece of driftwood. Right when you're about to drown. And I'm referencing that book to drown and save. And that's the reason why I'm saved, because I had a recognition that I'm not in this ocean by myself. You know what I mean? And then I can be my sweet self right on this little piece of driftwood. Right, and float on, roll, roll down the stream, you know what I mean? You know, and that's what I'm doing, man. I'm just holding, trying to hold on to myself, you know what I mean? And, you know, you know because it's, it's them that's doing the ugly thing, you know? Strapping somebody down to a gurney, pumping poison in their veins, stringing somebody up in a tree with, with a noose around their neck. You know, that's the ugly that belongs to them, you know what I mean? Not to me. You know, I just try to keep that in perspective, man. Hold on to my perspective, man. And continue with myself. You know what I mean? And, and it just took me cultivating a lot of courage to be 
myself. You know, you know, something that I didn't really have the strength and courage to do when I was a little dude. You know what I mean? You know, and battling myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I think uh, I'm most proud about. And everything that I've accomplished, man, is that I've been able to hold on to that, you know, sense of sweetness in myself. Yeah. Now I can sit here and uh, I can bang you not to kill me. My faith ain't gonna allow me to do that.